All right, thanks for checking out Lebo View. And if you can't tell by now, we're in my truck. Now, the last time I did a review of my truck, it was on a Garmin Nuvi GPS. Great GPS. Check out my other review on that um, to decide if that's something that you might want to get into. I love it. That GPS is just killer. Anyways, what I'm doing here is my stereo. Now, I've had this for a while, and I wanted to make sure that this was a nice stereo before I did a review on it. Now, this is a Kenwood... Excelion, and it's a KDC 79, X797, excuse me, um, and it has a USB. It also has Bluetooth capability. There's a lot of function. It also has Sirius, uh, Sirius XM, also has Pandora, iHeartRadio, and AHA. Um, it also has HD radio, so if you have HD radio stations in your area, um, it also has that. Um, I have the ability on this to uh, allow my Garmin to connect to it also. Now, with this stereo, I get a microphone. Uh, this microphone actually has enough cord that it could go around my dash and up my pillar and then up on my visor if I'd like, but it works just fine there. I am able to do my hands-free calling through that microphone, through the stereo, and listen to it through the stereo speakers, which will pause the music for me. Uh, whatever I'm listening to, and it will uh, allow me to do my conversation. Now, whenever you set up your stereo, you can set it up to where the Bluetooth devices, there can be a few of them hooked up to it, or a USB device and a Bluetooth device, which is really cool. And you can set which one has precedence. So basically, that's why I have these two items here. This is my iPhone 4. This is my Android Moto X. And my Moto X, what I do is I stream music through it uh, on my iHeart radio stations. Or if I want, I have music that is saved in here in my iPhone, and I just go through it. So what I can do with these two phones is use this as just an iPod. And I can hook it up via USB, but I can indicate that I want this device to get priority. Even though I have my Garmin Nuvi sometimes hooked up to it, I can still request that I want priority with this device. In case any calls come through, that they'll go through over top of whatever's being done individually with these other items. i to hold the button here to turn on the stereo. You can see it's on iHeartRadio and it's saying it's disconnected. So we'll let this go through the process. Now my phone is in a sleep style mode. So it's not really looking for anything, but it will connect to this whenever it senses that it's being asked to. And that's really nice because at that point, you can see it says completed. It's just going to go ahead and allow me to start streaming my music through the iHeartRadio app. Depot. And there we go. Now right now, even though I'm in Northeast Ohio, I have this on a Tampa station. And uh, the quality is very good. Uh, it sounds very, very good. Now, you can change the lights on this, or you can have it just fluctuate through different colors, and I didn't really set it. I just let it go through all the different colors. Uh, of course, it's a detachable face. There's a lot of other things that you can do, uh, which is really nice. Now, of course, I can go into, and this is with the remote, I can do some other things, and that is go into these other radio apps. Now, that's Bluetooth Audio. If I put it on Bluetooth Audio, I can make it to where I just stream music that I have stored in my Moto X, or for that matter, I can stream it direct from my iPhone into the stereo. Auxiliary, obviously, what you hook up there uh, through the USB. HD radio, this is your local channels if you have HD available. Now what I'll do is I'll hook up my USB here. Let me grab the end of it. And it's pretty simple. It's got a little flip door here that you open up. Just place the USB in. And let's go ahead and source over to it. There we go. Oh, yeah. And it also does charging at the same time, of course, which is pretty standard. And now it's saying that it's on the uh, Apple iPod mode, which I have it just set up as an iPod there again. The quality is very good that comes through the USB in an iPhone. Now this thing is set up, I'll say right away, more for iPhone than anything else. Because the sound quality, the ability to set up EQ to make the sound sound better is really good through the iPod and iPhone. 
Now normally it would display the name that I have up there, but I have it in a different mode to where I didn't want the Bluetooth to link in, so it doesn't say that. Now it does whenever I stream it directly through Bluetooth here. But basically what I'm saying is there's a lot of features to this stereo, and it's a nice stereo. It's got good sound to it. I have factory speakers in here, and there's a lot of settings that you can get into as far as the, your audio controls that you can ch not only adjust these levels, but where they come in at. Uh, or you can just set it up, you know, in the way that you want to. Um, it's just a, a good setup all the way around. So I'm really happy with it. And I wanted to let you know that this is something that if you have the money for, uh, it's a good alternative to um, some of the other ones. So I always thought I'd like to try a Kenwood head unit, and uh, this one's worked out just great. So again, it's the Kenwood Excellion KDC X797. And again, I put the link down below. Click the link and it'll take you right to it. I know I'm missing out on a lot of the features that this thing has, but I just wanted to highlight some of them that I thought was pretty nice. And um, the fact that you can get uh, you know, your HD channels through your, your local radio, um, you, it's all digital. You have iTunes tagging on this. Um, you have, um, you know, it's made for the iPod and the iPhone. Uh, it works with Pandora, AHA, of course, iHeartRadio. It's got Bluetooth. It's got Sirius XM Ready. Um, there's a lot of things going on there. It's, you know, got that variable color. If you want to put color, change the color of the, uh, the, uh, display. Um, it also has, uh, RCA outputs, uh, you know, 4.0 voltage. And then, uh, it also has Android music control, which, uh, I've used that a few times. Um, but this is a Kenwood app that's specific, uh, with this type of a phone. And um, it allows, you know, iHeartRadio uh, directly into the Kenwood unit. And again, it's uh, uh, basically an iHeartRadio Kenwood app. So if you're looking for a stereo, check this out. I think it's a good one. And I've learned to really love this. I was concerned that the features that it had was a little bit more than maybe I would use. And it's funny how that works out just over time. I started adding more and more things to the head unit and it's worked out great. Uh, the fact that you can hook up multiple Bluetooth devices, my kids will hop in the truck and they can sync their iPods or just their iPods are already connected at some point and they can play their music through the stereo, which is really nice. They can sit in the back and they can play their music. So there's another nice feature. So. If this is something you're looking for or thinking about, go ahead and jump into it. Again, the link is down below in the description. Click the link. It'll take you right to the site. I appreciate it as always. Thanks for watching LeboView. Bye.